Alrighty then. What's going on? First ever YouTube stream. Crazy. Let's see how it goes. It's the first time doing this. How many boxes you got, you think? We've got six, seven? Six or seven max BP boxes to open. So it should be good. We got three people on. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. So what do you got there? Right in your hands. This is the Max BP machine. It shoots out. I wonder if they can hear. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I think they can. What's up, guys? We got 10 people on. Look at this. I'm surprised. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. So we have the Max BP machine. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it shoots out mini wiffle balls out of that hole right there. And um, it shoots anywhere from soft toss pitching speed to uh, super turbo, which is absolute gas. So I really love it. I've been using it a pretty long time. And what we're going to be doing today on the stream is opening up a... Like, oh, no, they can't hear. Yeah, they can't hear. No, it says, oh, I can't hear. We can hear. Woo! Yeah. First time doing this. So appreciate everybody helping out yeah, and so, bearing with us. So what we're going to be doing today on the stream is opening up a like bunch six or seven boxes. Of boxes. The care package for Max BP. So uh, we'll open those up and just kind of talk about it. They've had this for like a long time, three years. And that's what's cool about, about this is that it's no longer just like if, if something goes wrong, you have to throw it away. Some of these are like bad. Like they don't, they yeah. don't, you're not fixable. There's no parts. And this company does a lot with parts. So with no ado, with no waiting, what we got? All right. So let's see here. First box that I'm going to open, Max DP box. Let's open this up really quick. I like quick. Wilson. I'm a Wilson guy. I grew up Wilson. Tanner started with Wilson, and now he really likes Rollins. I like Rollins. What could be in it? Okay. Let's see what's in this first one. Packages. Oh, oh that's a, Yes. We love it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's, um, what is, is that? I'm not sure. So we've got. What is this? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Whatever that is, that's badass tape. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Huh? All right, we gotta get. It. You need the scissors, and I don't think I do. Do you need the scissors? Yeah, but you can go first. How about that? Let's get it. What's going. in there? Yeah, it says it's cool. ready to ship. Ready to ship. But I have no idea what it is. Let's see. Just make sure we don't cut that paper. Yeah, as they cut. Cores, <laughs> as you cut. As I cut cores. All right. So in this one, wait for. Oh, oh. There's something in there. Oh. Oh, we got a barrel attachment. I've got the, the bat right under there if you want to grab it. But the bat, it kind of screws apart. People have been asking about this. Oh, a little different color, and it's a different shape, too. Yeah. A little bit there. That's pretty cool. So, so it unscrews, unscrews, and then you can put the other one back in. So, like I said, we've been using these for years, <laughs> and so you can tell that the colors. A little, a little bit different, different, but whatever. It's about the functionality, not necessarily how it looks. How it looks at all. So let's just kind of screws. At least it's the same threads. Yep, that's good. And, and that's it. There so it is. Kind of let's see what's in mine if I can one. finally get it out. There we go. All right. I have. Oh, what is that? What have we here? I don't know what that is. Maybe a. Uh, I'm thinking that's a new handle and barrel attachment that turns it black instead of. I think this is a heavy bat. You think? Yeah, that's what I think. Let's see. What do you got there? We've got a grip. What's our skin? Well, that should tell you something. We got a grip. So that will tell you. Oh, and there's a little knob attachment that goes at the bottom. I'm telling you. There's a little grip. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Uh. Wilson guy, are you a Christian? Yeah. Yes. What's up, Christian Tracy? What's up? And we Ooh. got Chunk Hits Dayers podcast. What's up, Chunk. Chunk. So here's what I think is really cool. They got it engraved. Next. Piece. That's pretty swaggy. That's pretty swaggy. Let's see if we can put that together real quick. So there's that. Yeah. Oh dang, that's heavy. And you know what I, I bet it is? I bet you that piece. That one right there that we just put. It's a on. different color. Yeah, it probably goes on this. It probably goes on that. That's my guess. Yeah. Now that goes down. Yeah. Before you said that. 
Oh, this could have been a Ooh, that sound. chunk. What'd you get so far? Uh, so now then you're seeing the unboxing. So this is it. We're we got uh, We got a lot of stuff. Well, this is the first box. This is the heavy bat, I believe. Okay, go ahead and do that yourself. Okay. Don't cross thread it. Okay. Don't cross thread things, kids. Yeah, that would be. It's a good way to get yelled at. Don't cross yeah. things. Cross thread. So this is the bat that we've been using for years. As you can see, it's. Not bad for the wear and tear for someone that's been around for. Oh! Hey! <laughs> it's still going. All right. It's done. So, probably a heavier bat? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a heavier a bat. Bit? There you go. Yeah, it is heavier. So. Ooh. What is that? Ooh. 15% off your next order. 15% off your next order, y'all. You love to see it. All right. That's pretty cool. We got a new bat so far. You're welcome if you're looking to get one. Uh-oh. You're is. welcome if you're looking to get one. One more time. <laughs> savage. You're welcome if you're trying to get one. There you go. 15% off. That code <sighs> odds rewind. You play Fortnite. Uh, used to, not anymore. Do you think the 2020, uh, what do you think of the 2020 Meta Power? Really Slaughter's Slug been making good bats for a while. They used to not, to be honest. Was never really a fan of the solo, but I think I think that Demarine is getting popped too many times. Does that make sense? They've been banned. Banned too many times. Made not they got too many too many errors or too many problems with with their compression. So I think they've slid a lot of that technology over to Slugger to wait for those compression tests to fail. But I think that's what happened with Slugger because I think they're making good bets. Here we Next go. box Second is. Box, if I can make sure I got it open. Uh oh, I didn't get it full. What is this for? That sucker, Max BP machine. Awesome, awesome, awesome for timing, rhythm, hand eye coordination. Probably one of the top tools for hand eye coordination, which is cool. I gotta tell you, like, like I said, we've been using these Max BPs forever. Whoa. Shut up. Happy holidays. Shut up. Boom, to learn Shut up. About what's inside this box. Shut up, wait, you gotta slow it down, dog. Oh, no, I need to see this. Okay. Happy holidays, it's a little late, but Happy holidays. Um, um, don't show this invoice. 100% off with your next purchase. Of $500. You're welcome, yeah, Tanner. <laughs> so, um, blah, 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 blah. there was a question. Thanks for DMing me back on Insta. You're welcome. You but that's awesome. bad boy, dude. Look at Oh, wow. What we got we here? We got a, uh, a foam head that goes on. I got the bats over here. You got the bats? It goes right there. It actually makes a really cool sound. Yeah, it uh, sounds really like crisp and clean when you put it yeah, on. Yeah, so the question is, what's your favorite glove in the $100 to $250 range? $250 range, you can get a heart of the hot. Yeah, but $150 range, the Rollins Encore. Encore is a steal at $150. Ooh. A steal at $150. You got a lot of stuff in here. Let's see, I think these might be the, uh, the plugs. That's the swag the, pack. Oh, they got new plugs. That's these nice. ones actually stay in. The old ones, if you flipped it upside down or something happened to it, it would fall out. But now, Look, yeah, because it's about to fall out. Yeah. Oh, I like so that I, I upgrade. Lost, I lost one of those. Now you, now you just put them in there uh, and they stay. Oh, see the difference? This is the new upgraded one. It's deeper. And you would think that they would have figured that one out, but hey, I'm not complaining because like when I had to buy new ones, they're like 15 bucks for a set of three, and that rolls on the inside, so it lets you go between having one ball if you're hitting one ball, boom. Boom, give you time to reset, breathe, adjust. And then if you take out the inserts, the inserts, you can use for catching, rapid fire, pop, 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 pop. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, and I'll give you an extra hand. Can I have that one back? You can have that one back. I'm gonna throw this one back in here. Oop, up and hurt. And that's that. All right, so other questions. Uh, love your videos. Thank you. Hayes. Thank you very much. YTT. YTT. That's huge, man. It sounds stupid, but it's it's huge. I think yeah. being able to put a, produce things that people enjoy, it just kind of gives you verification and, and, and a good sense of pride that people actually enjoy some of the stuff. And it's not for everybody, man. I know that. But it's really cool that people do it. So, uh, how much does the Max BP? I'm not going to lie. I paid a lot for it. A lot. You can get different models. And sometimes they have them on clearance. So they have, um, they have clearance or they have refurbs. And I would not hesitate to buy a refurb. Why? Because their customer service has been amazing so far. We've had one issue, and they were like on it. 
So really cool that the, the company takes care of it. I want to say I paid like $600 for it at the Texas Coaches Baseball Convention down in Waco like two, three years ago. I think so it was longer than It's that. an investment, guys. I'm not going to lie, but there's nothing better. We've, I've, I've used one that was like 200 bucks, and it shot nothing but balls. It was terrible, meaning if you're trying to, to, to use it for hitting, it's terrible because it was all over the place. This one, especially when there's no wind, shoots it on a dime. It's really good. And then with wind, it's still usually it's within like a strike zone, balls. but it has more movement to it, which I think is good. It challenges you. So. We, and, uh, we've got some different colored balls, which you can use. If you are uh, shut up, I just looked in there. Yeah, you shut shouldn't up. Have, you shouldn't have. But you can uh, kind of color code and. So with uh, these different color ones, right? Yep. So go no go, right? So you can go go no go. Only swing at the white base or the white wiffle balls, or only swing at the, the colored wiffle balls. Um, so you can choose go no go, uh, even strike a ball. So really good for hand-eye coordination. Coordination. Um, and then the other way thing you can do is is just working hand-eye straight up, like um, blue. Catch with your left hand, uh, red catch with your white hand, the right hand, white hand. Yeah. Um, so there's different things that you can do for hand-eye coordination, which is really cool. Speaking cool. of customer service, let me see that. Questions or concerns? Oh yeah, questions or concerns. Uh, we love five-star reviews. I want to make sure you're happy. Next purchase. So you guys, better oof. use it. Pay attention. Get rid of it. I don't know if they're going to be happy about us sharing that, but Boom. there you go. So off of uh, a five hundred dollar product, ten percent off is. 50 bucks. You're welcome. Boom. All right. So what else you got there? Uh, we've got a few foam, like not foam. They're, yeah, foam. Yeah, they're foam. They're squishy. Squishy balls. So. Throw them against the wall inside. Yep. Not make your mom mad. Or you can freak fight. people out and like Achoo! chuck them out when it hits them in the face and hurt. So <laughs> yeah. um, how can I hit a home run? That's, man, there's some questions that I missed out. Sorry, guys. Uh, la, 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 la. We answered how much does it cost? What do you think about the Pro 44 gloves? Never really used one. Every one that I've seen looks really stiff. Um, I don't think the, I don't think they can compare honestly with uh, Wilson or Rawlings. But like I said, I don't have have one to compare. But I do have something to compare. They don't have the amount of patterns that Wilson and Rawlings have. So if you like them, cool, and use whatever you like. That's important. Use whatever. It doesn't matter what he uses. It doesn't matter what the guy down the street uses. It doesn't matter what the pros use. It's what you like. Use what you like and you can afford. Embrace it, dude. So, oh, another one. Um, uh, yeah. What bat are you using right now? Right now I'm using a Rawlings Quattro. Mm -hmm. How can I hit a home run? Uh, fundamentals. Yeah, fundamentals. Get bigger, stronger, stronger, faster. Don't worry about it. It'll come. We have some action. Aggie or, Aggie or Longhorn? My family's an Aggie, Aggie fan. How old are you? I'm 14. Quick. Atticus Gonzalez. That's got to be one of the badasses names of all time. <gasps> Atticus, Atticus Gonzalez. Sorry, dude, but it's He says get swag. yoked equals tanks. I love it. And he's got a good vibe. Remember when he was on the live? Yeah. If you can make an impression on my old mind, because he was funny as can be, dude. He's quick-witted. I love it. Uh, I'm going to hit more. Da, 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 da. We got that one. I'm going to go on this lot. Go live on Insta tonight. Uh, uh, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be out on date night, and he should be going to bed earlier tonight. So yeah. we'll see. Um, date night. Anyways, let's get back to it. All right, we've got some actual regulation size wiffle balls, so they're not the cheap ones. I have a that, feeling these are gonna curve like crazy. These are the ones that they use in like the actual wiffle ball, like pro wiffle ball games. Look at you, no one of this knowledge. Of yeah, ours like pro you, wiffle ball. You get one of those wooden. Uh, Wooden broomsticks. Yeah, and then you start hitting them, and they crack after the second hit. They do have a lot more gift to them, but, but I gotta say, God, like these ones are like solid as can be. No, I'm talking about up in here. But here's the thing, right? Yeah. I don't get how y'all can throw these things without throwing your shoulders off. I really don't. You don't throw them at her. I mean, unless you actually want to like Bro. get serious. But like when I throw it, it's just these dudes are like. like shoom, ah. So, anyways, uh, boom, boom, get yoked, hit tanks. Yeah. Since the goat Tom Brady doesn't play baseball. Because millions of loyal followers like myself don't care about baseball. Why here? Sorry. That's all right. Do you think? Do you think, dude? All right. We've also By the got way, Tom Brady some, was drafted. We've got some slow the game down. These things are awesome. Yeah, dude. They're like little discs. I didn't even know they came in green. But you throw them super fast, and then you got to catch them. see one. Uh -oh. So that's what's cool about these things. You can use them indoors. Yep, they're rubber. Dude, I love these things. And I'm so glad these came because we only have like five and there's what? Now we got ten. Five more. Let's go. 
These things are awesome. Because like you can whip like I don't know if you looked at Tanner's them super fast. If you look at Tanner's uh, Instagram account, like I'm sitting there, boom, I'm chucking them. I don't feel bad if it hits them because yeah, like I said, it they're, doesn't even hurt. They're and then we've also got their kind of how to focus the hitter zone book. So slow down the game is really cool. That's uh Bill Harrison well, and Ryan Harrison. Yeah, and Ryan Harrison. Ryan Harrison is Bill's son. Bill, I think, just passed away. Uh, but Ryan um, does a great things with vision training. So you're going to see Ryan come on uh, the podcast relatively soon because he does talk about how slowing down the game visually slows down your brain, which slows down your body, which helps with being able to do your own thing. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I actually have this book already, so I will probably be – Reading it up? No, I'm gonna give it away. Oh, you're gonna one. give it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've had this one. We have two. We of these. have, yeah. So I think it's a good book. I think you know maybe we can get somebody here that wants this book. Um, but it's really, really good book. See, there's three of them. Three of them. There's three the them. hitter zone. There's the pitcher zone, and then there's uh, there's one more which is kind of just overall vision training. Uh, let's see. Lincoln Westcott, man, I missed his. Thing. Did you see it? I didn't either. Sorry, but if you could retype it, we'll get you right now. Um, Y'all do plyo balls? Yep, I do. Yes. We use uh, silverbacks. Yep, silverbacks. Typically, uh, the facility has some drag line stuff, but we have it at home. Uh, what's the most useful training tool? Honestly, right now? When in reality, I think. Ooh. And this. This is pretty cool because it can throw curveball sliders, change-ups, fastballs. I'm sorry. What can it throw? Curveball slider. It's got curveball slider settings. It does. Right down there. Oh, right there. Cutter, slider, curveball. Cutter, slider, and curve. And fastball. And you can go lefty curve or righty curve or soft toss. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Heads up, 2.0, you've got that book. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good book. Um, but, yeah, when reality is probably, if you can afford it, man, it's good. That's, it's I'm not going to lie. I know there's a lot of people that can't afford um, some of those training tools. And you see a lot of successful baseball players from very impoverished areas like the Dominican Republic, like Venezuela. Uh, my mom's an immigrant from South America. I know you can tell because Tan is very Hispanic. I'm very Hispanic. But my mom my mom immigrated uh, in 1968 to America. So um, I get it. I traveled all over the world. And I know there's a lot of people who can't afford some of the things that we train with and we use. And so that's part of the reason why we started this channel is that we wanted to be able to show people alternatives, um, ideas, because like you don't have to have the best of the best. You can use a stick and beans. You can use a stick and canned or a piece of dry corn. It does a great job. They use in Venezuela, they use a thing called um, chapitas. And in, in Dominican Republic, it's called, oh my gosh, chapitas and batia, batia in, in the Dominican Republic. So beer bottles, man. If you got a dad who drinks beer, and those little screw top beer things, and you can whip them. And that's what they use in Venezuela is beer bottle tops. That's chapitas. And in Dominican Republic, they use these types of things. They're very similar. Um, and that's uh, batia. So there's lots of alternatives. But keep going. What else we got? All right. We've got a mechanical pencil, which I, Let me see that. I will be using that for school all day long. Okay. That's actually kind of money. And then we got a pen. All right. And then we have another lizard skin grip. Oh, look what we got there. And a always right. trying 365 okay. MPP hitter's notebook. So those guys. With another oh, account. Oh, 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 wait for it. I'm trying to get that book. It's a good book. So, again, for those who are in need of. Another code. You got to read it backwards. Right? You read it if you can, then there it's you all go. you, baby. Ten percent off. Uh, so yes, it's something that we we've, we've used before. The Always Grind three sixty five, and so it kind of goes over and just kind of gets your mind right on what you're doing. Uh, Warm ups. What's your routine? Do you, you know, what five things do you do routine? What do you do for the work? What do you do for batting practice and other? So, um, but they've got it all lined up. So we're real familiar with it. practice routines, warm ups. These are the days. Um, what did I do well? What do I need to improve on? Some other notes. Focus on what you do well, guys. It's too easy to say, oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. You can get guys that are like, hey, I I knocked the snot out of it. Well, good. Well, I, but I didn't do this. You don't have to snot out of the ball. Stay with the positive. Stay with the positive. So um, Cajun BP, the focus, what are you focusing on? What are the drills you use? Video analysis. 
um, the technology that you use. You know, what was your exit view, launch angle, angle of attack, spin rate, swing speed, and other, whatever you want to throw in. And it's got different things. So it's KGBP, KGBP, KGBP. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can find yeah. them online, always grind. So pen. there's the pin to fill out the always grind, which oh, is this nice. one's heavy. I didn't tell you what that one is. I know what that is. Where is my scissors? Where's your scissors at? Right know. down there. I don't know. I got them. All right, what else you got? Uh, what's the most training, best training tool? We hit that one. Um, I'm trying uh, uh, heads, heads up to point out a very good book. Uh, have you ever considered a what's in my bag video? We got to do. We got to do the what's in your bag. And I, I, honestly, I think we've done it. I just think it's never been posted. So I think I might have screwed that one up. But yeah, we did film it. Did you just hit me? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You just hit me. I didn't mean to. It's assault. Dang! There's another uh, box within a box. All right. So uh, have you tried Book Script? Yes. Book Script. Yes, yep. we have. We've tried Book Script. I actually really like their grips. I think they have. Uh, Good product. Good, good product. A portable bag. Does somebody want to tell Tanner not to cut towards him? No. Anybody want to tell him that? No. Anybody want to tell him that? <laughs> Don't cut towards you. What could go wrong? Nothing. What could go wrong, dude? Yeah, uh, so then we got what? That's dope. That's dope. Book grip, yes. Lizard skin, yes. Vulcan grips, yes. You know who's come out with a new grip? Who? Bruce Bolt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That's sticky it too. Is sticky. So lizard grip, hook. There's some good ones for sure. I don't even know if there's any that you'd stay away from. <gasps> it's all in case you need to know. Oh. In case you need to know. It's a battery pack. Look, Chunk tells you. Chunk tells you. Don't cut towards you, dog. I'm sorry. Don't Chunk. cut towards you. I'm sorry. How do you deal with? Demotivation and balancing school with training. That's a great demotivation. Question. All right, so I'm gonna start with balancing school with training. For me, I'm homeschooled, so I get done around 12. Start at seven, get done around 12. So yep. I got from 12 to three to do baseball work, and then I gotta get home and pick up my brother. And then after that, I've got from three until six is usually when we eat dinner to do baseball. So that's like six hours. And then he chills the rest of the night. Ish. Yeah. So that's the thing. In our household, the, the school comes first, period. If you don't get A's, know, know your kid. Know what you're capable of. Just because you get B's doesn't mean that's not what you're capable of. You could be capable of, go, capable of getting A's. You're just not applying yourself. So if you're doing the absolute freaking best you can and you're getting B's and that's the best you can get, maybe get a tutor so you can get level up, right? But if you're getting A's, that's all I can ask for. And that's what I expect in this house. Um, if you can get A's. Get A. School comes first. Now his 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 timing for school. You got to think about you taking about taking out all the extra time in between classes, uh, going out to to to, to lunch. Um, the teacher talking with little Tommy who doesn't get it. You know, so you're just mashing a bunch of schoolwork all in at once. So that's kind of how he goes about it. And then anything that's left over that he doesn't accomplish during that a lot of time, we will go do baseball. But he has to go back to school. As soon as we get done with the baseball. So school, whatever you can fit for baseball in, get done with baseball, finish your schoolwork. If you haven't done it already, just like you would doing homework in a regular school, then family time. So this one's this battery pack's different than the old one. You see that? So this new oh, one. Oh, it's a dual cell. Yeah, so you've got the old one was a dual cell too, but this no, one's the, different. The, the, the other one was a single no, block. It was two. Believe me. Let's two. argue about it. It was two. It was two. Right. Anyways, they made it so that this time. It's got this tape here and a super long cord so that you can be using it while you're, uh, you could be charging this while you're using it to hit. And then the other side, plugs into this the is machine. what plugs into the machine. And they made this cord like okay. six and times And so that's long. permanent. The, this plug, that so you can't there. lose it. You cannot lose it. Like that good. improvement. Which is very good. Like that so, improvement. Yeah, this is a massive battery. Uh, and then the de demotivation. Demotivation. Demotivation, man, you got to let that roll off your back. Roll off your back. You're, you should never think that you're the best out there. You should have confidence. You should have confidence, but always be chasing somebody. And I don't care who that is. But be chasing somebody. Somebody's better than you. Someone's coming to get your job. Someone's coming to get your spot. Go chase that guy's spot. You know, so demotivation, 
don't worry about what others are saying, man. All you can do is worry about you. That's something I preach to that guy is that, you know, don't, don't compare yourself to somebody else, but go chase them. Go be better than that. But don't worry about like what they're doing. You do you to your best of abilities. So that to me is your biggest thing is like, stop worrying about what others say about you. Don't have your inner reward of, or, or your inner worth based on what other people say. He could say that I'm an idiot. That doesn't mean I'm an idiot. He could say that I'm a jerk. That doesn't mean I'm a jerk. And I don't need to believe what he has to say because I know I'm a good person. So don't have your inner worth based on what other people think about you. It doesn't matter. They're not you and you're not them and you're not, they're not in your situation. So don't worry about it. We've got another card if you want to show that one. That one's different. How often it was different? It's different. Oh, it's a quick one. That's a 15er. 15% off. Big deal. It's a really big deal. There you go. Um, how often should I play games on, at 11U? I think games are important. I think development's even more important. If you don't practice oh. and have a, a baseball IQ, you got to be smart, and that's game play. But you have to be taught it, especially at those younger ages of 11, 10, 9, 8. You need fundamentals to understand what you're doing. So uh, practice is a big deal. Fundamentals is a big deal. Gameplay is a big deal because you get the yips. Sorry. You do. This is massive. So that is a... That is a carrying bag, I believe. Oh. Carrying bag. Uh-oh. There's another one. So that goes... In there. There's another one. That goes... Open it up and see it. That's a nice case. Yeah, this is big. So this sucker fits right in the top if I can get it unzipped anytime soon. But as a big deal, just because it's like I said, an investment. It's an investment. So take care of your stuff, man. People work hard for their money. People work hard for their money. All right. So what else we got? Uh, so right. I, oh, we got uh, an extra set of clips too. That's okay, a there carrying you go. bag. So yeah, keep it all together. Keep it all together. I love it. Um, so I followed you guys on Instagram for about three years. Wow. And I was wondering how how many how many about how many gloves you have in your collection throughout the years. I have forty two. Forty two. I've collected all of them. But so they're my prized possessions. Prize possessions. I think people need to understand this is like I look at it. I've always looked at my. I've had. I've had two gloves. I've had two good gloves in my life. Two. Um, but I look at it almost like a. There's two things I never sell. Because it's almost like a part of me. My guns. Yeah, a lot of them. And gloves because it's a personal connection. I, I think those two things are, are very personal. So everyone has their own thing for collecting, but um, those two things are, are near and dear to me. So he's got his. First Mizuno power clothes with a little yeah. cutout so you can squeeze the glove. So that's all included in those numbers. Uh, do you guys have any brand deals? Man, you got to be really careful with brand deals. You need to worry about NCA eligibility. So um, we really don't do any brand deals. It's not, a, not a, something that you should really do until NCA decides to change their mind on allowing players to and get deals. He's got a ball picker. So that's cool. It's like a golf ball. How old is he? I am 14. I wish he would have said I am 12. I am 12. And then I used to be able to say that, and I then I grew. He got two years older. Uh, Tanner, are you coming to Massachusetts anytime soon? I'm not planning on a chunk. Not planning on it. Make a gun channel. And if I had time to go out and like, dude, talk about guns and money. You can't, you can't find ammo. Ammo's so expensive. <laughs> Another one. Ammo's so expensive. You can't even find ammunition, man. So I think that's. Did they fix this up a little bit. I'm looking. I don't think so. So we I think have. They double bolted it instead of one of these. Single bolted. And this is usually the weak spot. It looks like it's been reinforced. Reinforced a little bit. So that's a good thing. We bought this one during, because this one is green, the one that you have, right? Yeah. Well, you know it's black, too. Is it black? Yeah. We bought this one at uh, their Black Friday thing, so I think it was relatively cheap, like 15 bucks to begin with. But, yeah, you can 
pick up all the little wiffle balls real easy without breaking your back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Chung says, Tanner, my dad versus your dad cook-off. Best bid of 2021. I win. Yeah. That's the confidence I'm talking about. I win, dog. I don't even need to see it. I don't even need to see it. Uh, let's see. You guys brand deals. Massachusetts, how old? Make a gun channel. I wish. If I could find a sponsor to pay and find ammo for me, I would do that like crazy. Uh, the cook-off, I already win. Sorry, Chunk. Trump or Biden. We, we're pawns, dude. We're all pawns in the, in the game. As you can see by the um, – have you guys seen the, the Wall Street stuff? Or AMC, which is tanking like crazy, and GameStop, which is a, another dying industry. Everyone's going to streaming. And it's shooting through the rocket because guys are finally figuring out, like, I don't have to. They're manipulating the market, but we have influence too. Think about it. Uh, have you seen enemy travel ball teams in Vermont? Yeah. Have you seen enemy travel ball teams? Uh, what do you do in your free time? I love to watch TV and fish. Fish? Did you did you hunt this year? I did hunt, but I don't get to do that very often. So. Got that deer meat back yet? Papa wants to go get his pod sitting in his house. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, would you let? Any of your followers be on your podcast? Uh, the podcast. I think the biggest thing right now is like we're running out of time. Time is the issue. That gives me another tangent. Time. Time management is freaking huge in life. Time management is huge in life. And so having – I tell this to, to, to my kids and I'll tell it to you guys. You don't buy things with money. You buy things with the time that it takes for you, for you to earn that money. So be careful what you spend your time and your money on. It's important. Time management is important. You don't realize how much time you waste, especially at this age. You're sitting there staring at a screen, like watching cartoons. What productive things are coming out of that? Time management. It's a huge deal. Man. You got a ball carrying case there? Yeah, they grabbed this thing and they stuck it in there and then they put a crack nice. on other balls in there. Nice. Here, look, watch this. I'm going to be really smart. Um, so, yes, if we get time, then yes, we will do followers because everyone's got a dang story about raised in baseball. When I say raised in baseball, it's about being raised in baseball, not this yeah. guy. It's about being raised in baseball. And everyone's got a unique story. That's something I ask, he asks on the podcast all the time is how were you raised in baseball? What was your journey? What's your story? How did you get to where you are? And everyone's different. And it's always really interesting to hear how they got there and what they got there. So pretty cool. Are you seeing this? I'm this being is, smart. This is my guy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Best MLB best MLB team going into 2021. I've got the Padres. Padres are going strong. Padres are going strong. They're making big moves, so I like that. Got a bunch of balls now. Oh, look at that. What is that? <laughs> I swear, there's like two in every package. So that's ball carrier. Bunch of balls. Dang, dude. They stuffed it full up on another one. So again, and yeah. these suckers last forever, but they're not cheap. So pick them up. Yeah. Pick them up. I've got mine. They're honestly like. Too. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. I want to say they're like seventy-five cents a ball. Maybe not that much, but they're not. They're. Yeah, as you can see, mine's all. They're expensive enough that I don't want to buy more of them. So take care of them. That's all I ask. Take care of them. And I take think care of them. this is the last package. I think Man. this is the uh, iPod. All right. So uh, that was the Padres. I think the Padres. What do you, what do you think? 2020 was making big moves. Padres. Mets are making. I hate the Mets. I think they're just Padres the scrubs of the league. But I think. Sorry, no offense. But I think that they're they're doing they're doing good. They're making big moves. So they want to win. So I think the Padres are going to make good moves. I think the Dodgers are still in contention. They'll be dominant this year too as well. I think um, the Mets. Yeah, you got Mets. anybody else? I say Padres. Yeah. They're the big ones. So uh, I, I still don't see – have you ever seen travel ball teams in Vermont? In where? Vermont, no. 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 Y'all make good cheese though. <laughs> Pitchers maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen any, just being honest with you, but I've seen Yikes. 
Uh, hey, you play on PS4? Uh, yes. I do. Sometimes. Not often. That's time management, just so you know. Uh, well, well, save me a spot on the podcast. Save me a spot on the podcast. All right. Tell me why, Aaron. Yeah, I'm not being a wish. jerk, but I want to know why. Why would you be interesting to be on the podcast? Not that I'm interesting. I'm not. But I want to know why you're interesting on the podcast. Why would you want to be on the podcast? So, But, dude, Chunk says Boston. Get out of here, Chunk. You're just a homer. At least we can admit we're homers, right, for the Rangers. We know when we stop. Dang, bro. Just stop with this. That's a heavy duty. Dang. Holy cow. Uh, same spot. Yeah, I want to hear the, the pitch. What do you got? Yeah, pitch. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Boston all the way, baby. That looks like a hey, legit. It's a like heavy duty camera pitch. Okay. Or camera uh, tripod. That's it's nice. The bottom, dude. That's really nice. Oh, and it's got a weight, so it doesn't get. Yeah. Because y'all don't know, this is for a sandbag. A sketch. Put a sandbag right there. No, I'm not bringing the dog in. <laughs> Go on, dog. So that's cool. Let's go over it. What do you got? All right. You got a tripod. Tripod. Very nice tripod, by the way. A big tripod. Oh, upgraded tripod. Boom. We have Solid. Uh, this one I already had. Oh, also that tripod came with the bag. Tripod. And the bag. bag. We have a new. Heavy bat. Heavy bat. With a darker green tip. And we also have an extra phone. Pretty sweet. Where is it? We have another foam and for the top. A bunch of baseballs. A uh, mini wiffle balls. Whatever. We have two new. Improved. New and improved. I like that. I don't even know what you call them. Blockers. Plugs. Plugs. There you mm -hmm. go. Uh, what else? Ask some questions because we're going to wrap it up if people aren't asking questions. We've got a new and improved. Going over what we've got open so far. Battery. Yep. For the Max Beauty machine. There you go. Ugh, the thing is heavy. And we have lizard skin grip. Lizard skin grip for the bat. And another lizard skin grip. For the bat. For the bat. And we also have a carrying strap. Swing. Wiffle balls. And I think there's one more thing. Is that it? Oh, there's all this stuff yeah, over here. Yeah, there's So is that all the stuff that you got over there? Yeah, that's all the stuff I've got over here. You got, got the Always Grind 365 journal. Take a look at it. There's a couple of journals that I think are, are really good. Th Always Grind 365 has a good one. The other one is American Bassman has a bad boy one that's leather bound. Um, and it talks basically like, can I look back in three years? Can I look back in four years? Can I hand the, jur the, the journal off to my kids because it's leather bound? And they can relate to your journey and your struggles uh, through baseball because everyone's got issues with baseball. Book? Yep. These things, which we've talked about at length, because I think they're amazing, slow down the game. Just sit there and chuck them like a, a, a skipping rock, which is sweet. Bunch of those. Whoa. You got some of these? No. Some. See me flinch? You didn't flinch. I did. I want like this. I'm going to make people with the camera flinch. See you. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We've got some other balls, but. Max. We had that for years. But I was just saying, this is kind of cool that they can do it. So, anyways, we got some questions here. Real fast is uh, what batting tee do you recommend? Man, I'm really picky. I'll tell you who I can't stand is Tanner Tees. Oh, Ironic. Ironic. Yeah. Tanner. I yeah. hate those tees. They're a piece of crap. I said it. Ooh. They break, dude. They break like crazy. And they wanted an arm and a leg. At least that was my experience. Customer service is a big deal. And their customer service was terrible when I called them. And they wanted to argue about it. Like they wanted to argue about what they were going to charge me to fix a, a $2 part. Send it in for $65 and we'll fix it. What? I can buy a new tee for that much, dog. I'm not paying 60 Well, I think you got fair use out of it, man. Shut up. So that's my experience with Tanner Tees. Ding. So what we use is. We use cage pro tees and cage backspin tees. pro tees are great. Backspin tees are built like tanks. And then the high tee is... Yep. What are they called? The high tee? It's really good. The tee. The hitting tee. Yep. The hitting it's tee. called the hitting tee. And that's another really good tee. So three tee companies that I would stick with. Backspin tee, the hitting tee, and cage pro tees. Those are something that you need to Eric look at. Eric says, can I tell you my pitch for the podcast? Hit it, Eric. There you Type go. it Start in there. Typing. I want to see it. Type your essay. Uh, how can I lose wheat? 
Uh, I'm 10 and 220 pounds. First off, I don't believe you. I need 220, dog. You're asking the wrong guy about losing weight. Uh, Aaron's pitch. All right, now hold on, hold on. So we'll get to that. Uh, but anyways, if, if you're serious about losing weight, kill your carbs. Kill your carbs, eat more protein. You don't necessarily have to go into a caloric de deficit, but kill your carbs. That's the biggest the biggest thing you can do, probably the easiest things you do. Uh, do you hit off of a tee every day or just live pitching? I hit off of a tee pretty much every day. Mm. So it's kind of just depending on how I'm feeling that day. If I feel like I need work with form, then I'll hit off the tee. But if I'm feeling really good that day, I'll just go straight into Listen to that. that. Listen. So that's the biggest thing. Once you have an efficient swing and a good swing pattern, then you can change things. Right, you can go into live pitching, you can go into soft toss or whatever, but make sure you have an efficient pattern before you elevate the difficulty. Does that make sense? Make sure you have a, a a good path, a good pattern, good mechanics before you elevate to something more difficult. I see coaches, I see parents do it all the time. They're like pitching the ball in, or just throwing their like five year old in a pitching machine cage, throwing like sixty miles an hour, and the kids is like swinging, <laughs> swinging, and like not even coming close. It's, it's funny, but it's also sad. And then the parents get mad at them. Yeah, you got to hit the ball. Dude, there's no shot. There's no shot in it. it. So, tees definitely have their place. I think as you get more and more elites, that number goes down on the amount of time that you spend on tees. But if you're working on a motor pattern or a skill set, you need to make sure that you take away the difficulty until you've mastered that movement and then move into soft toss, overhand toss, live BP, mixing up the pitches, facing higher velocity. Make sure that you get your tee work done. So, that's that's our belief. Um, but have ever been to the Atlanta Braves Showcase Tournament? It's super cool. Nope. Can I get an invite? Am I too yeah. old? Am I too old? Uh, we got to do a swap. Yours and mine. Mine. Yours. Asking about the tease. He's talking about his podcast. Trump wants us on his podcast. And oh, like I said, time management, dude. Time management, dude. That's the biggest thing. Just having enough time to do all the stuff that we need to do. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, Aaron, this Aaron, is Aaron's pitch. Aaron Hubbard's pitch, as you said, each person has a different story, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. I've been on multiple travel teams, and I have learned the struggle of your spot being taken. Dude, that's so good. That I love that I love pitch, that and the reason is this. I love that people can say, hey, my, 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 someone took my spot. That's life, man. That's like someone took my spot. So good for you, Aaron Hubbard, for being able to say, hey, you know, I didn't focus on what I need to focus on. I do, do what I need to do. And somebody came and took my spot. That's what's happening, guys. Your time management. Because someone's working behind you, working harder. Maybe they're genetically talented or gifted more than you are. Maybe they're more talented. They don't have to work as hard. Someone's behind you chasing for your spot. They want your spot. So, Aaron, when we get time, send Tanner a DM. And Let's do it. That would be good just to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, favorite hitting drill? For me, I love to set the tee up. So, it's like. Bring it inside and then put the tee right at Way the inside. Uh, yeah, bring it inside and then scoot the tee back to where it's even with your front knee. But guess what? There's a whole YouTube at my, video yeah, YouTube. on this YouTube, yeah, channel YouTube channel. And you can look it up. I think it says my, my hitting, hitting routine, routine or something like that. Check it out because that shows like the top Everything. two or three T drills that he does yeah. before he starts hitting. So um, I am this is Eric. Eric's oh, pitch. This is his pitch. Yes, I am an 11 U player, and I know a lot about the game, and I'm interested to go to the top and work my dollar signs off. <laughs> All right. So, Eric, I'll tell you this. Don't think that you know a lot about baseball because I don't know enough about baseball. So, love the confidence, but understand that there's a it's a journey, dude, and it will never end until you hang up your cleats. And then when you start coaching, it's a never-ending journey, and you do not know as much as you think you do. I don't know as much as I think I know, and I think I know quite a bit, but I don't, I don't know close to even enough of what I need to know. There's always a hunger to figure out something new to get better. So keep that in mind. Chunk, it's Dare's pitch. My pitch is uh, my name got a story, and I'm 14. You play on three teams, and I'm in high school, so I think you can talk about it. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. Do you guys work? Do you guys work out for baseball? I do. Yes. Specific for baseball. Yes. Yep. And I think we have a video on my workout on the YouTube channel. Yeah. 
So that, I, I don't know if we ever put, there's one definitely on the IGTV. And I personally hate IGTVs because I think you put a lot of work into making an IGTV because it's long format and it doesn't get the recognition that it does on YouTube, which is why we put a lot of the longer format into YouTube. So um, if it's not here on the YouTube channel, you'll find it on the IGT, IGTV where it talks with his trainer about workout specific routines on how to build your workout for baseball. Yep. So check that out. Uh, Aaron Hubbard. I've been playing since I was three, multi-sport athlete. I think me and Tanner could relate to a lot of things, all right? Lincoln Westlake needs us a shout-out. So Westcott, Aaron Lincoln Westcott. All right, and what do you see Ronald Acuna's future? Also, what pitches do you throw? Ronald Acuna, I think, is going to be pretty good. Um, I think if he wasn't already found out, like, for his weaknesses, we've had plenty of time to look at him and try and pick him apart. I so think he's pretty I think good. he's going to be solid. And what pitches do you throw? Fastball, uh, curveball, changeup, two-seam slider. Cutter? Cutter, yeah. Working on it. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is make sure you throw three. Three efficiently. To me, that's the biggest thing. Fastball, changeup. If you got a plus plus changeup, you want to talk about making somebody look stupid? And it's almost a cliche because, like, the ones when you're younger that really make you look dumb is the curveballs, right? You don't see a curveball, so I'm like. And then when you grow up, you can recognize the curveball, and then they go. You see the hump. You see the hump. Guys, if you see a hump, something that comes, so if this is your hitting tunnel, meaning that the ball's coming in here, and this is this a is something to hit at. Regular in. fastball hitting is coming like this, a little tail for the last three feet. If you see this, you, know you see it tunnel. leaves the tunnel, this will be the tunnel coming down through the tunnel. If you see it leave the tunnel, it's a curveball. Okay? Understand that if it starts and then drops out of the tunnel immediately, it's a ball for a curveball. A lot of times you'll get these ones that start out of the tunnel, dropping in for a strike, or a start in the tunnel and dropping out of the tunnel for a ball. So make sure you pay attention to your visual tunnel of what you're looking for. So, um, I would say have a have a have a change up, a plus change up, have a fastball, two seam force, whatever and you want to throw, and then something slider. something with movement. Yeah. Once you get past that, then doctor and, and tweak on, on your the other movements. Yeah. So, uh, Juan Acuna. Blah, 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 blah. That's it. All right. So. Appreciate you guys hopping on. Thank you for hopping on. We had a, Means a lot. pretty cool time getting all of these. This was actually very interactive, and I like that we were able to talk and be able to read and respond to what people are saying here. So we'll probably be doing a lot more uh, in the near future. So, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys hopping on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you guys later. New podcast is going to be uh, Hannah Huseman, which is the Phillies – uh, mental, mental skills, skills coach. coach. So yeah. be looking for that coming on tomorrow or Saturday. So be looking for that. It's really informative. And there's a lot of things that I, as an adult and a coach, um, learned from. So it's a big deal. Check, Check it, out. it out on Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Anywhere, anywhere you get your podcast. Your podcast. Appreciate right. you guys. We'll see, see you later. Bye. Oops.